Uh, hey, welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes in a bit of a free-for-all stream. There is something I recently watched that I, I kind of want to talk about to kick things off. Uh, I didn't know what to do for a thumbnail, so I actually put that in a thumbnail. It's the uh, remake for Roadhouse. The original was uh, a favorite of mine. I grew up watching it, and uh, Patrick Swayze kicked ass in it. And I actually had some fun. My, it was my daughter's suggestion to put uh, the remake on. She loves Jake Gyllenhaal. So we put it on, and if you watch it separately, like, you know, not as a remake, which you can enjoy movies that aren't remakes, but uh, there's definitely there's definitely some, uh, I'd say, more comedic parts to it, even when it's serious and they're, you know, beating each other's ass and they, they have, like, little quips and stuff. There's, there's shit that you find funny. However, immediately after I, I put on um, the original... And right away, I noticed a distinct lack in charm. And there's one thing that they did with the remake that that bugged me a lot is the original. That was his job. Like that was his job, his career, his livelihood. Uh, like they, they were even called coolers. Uh, Patrick Swayze character was the cooler. And then the guys that he was he was in charge of were the bouncers. And um, he would, you know, train them and he went over, you know, what to do, how to do it, and yada, yada, yada. All, all that stripped from the new one. It's literally an MMA fighter, a UFC fighter with a past. And Hollywood does that to death. Everyone has to have a past. It has to be traumatic. They have to have trauma and blah, blah, blah. That's because some screenwriters long ago, you know, sold some good movies and then they took those movies and they said, this is what I did for the script. So now moving forward, everyone's character, you know, must do this. On page 30, this needs to happen. On page 37, this needs to happen. On page 43, that needs to happen. So that's why, like, it feels very form formulaic. Um, and obviously with this, Jake Gyllenhaal is just a UFC guy and he shows up and he does a job, you know, kicks some ass and and that's it. <laughs> so... The old one, though, being his career and having these things go on, uh, it it had this charm to it that was different. Like, you know, when you think about these UFC fighters, like Patrick Swayze, there was something cool about him being a badass. Like, this is a UFC guy who, who he lives, breathes, trains. I mean, shit, it's almost not fun at that point. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't know. It's just, it's almost like he they're just human monsters at that at that point. And then... um. Uh, it's the introduction of Conor McGregor as an actor. And you know what's funny is he's fucking terrible in it. However, at the very, very end, the last like 10 seconds of Conor McGregor on, t on the screen, you realize, oh, that was probably done on purpose to a degree, but it still is terrible, you know? Um, and I, I don't know. He also looks like bloated as well. I've never seen someone... That's a weird one because you've seen like Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime and he looks like, you know, swollen. He's swole as fuck. Uh, but Conor McGregor, McGregor is weird, man. That one looked like he's swole, but, you know, he's like in shape, but swollen. It looked like he's a guy who worked out a lot, but then he got an allergic reaction and he's like just super swole, but he'll, he'll calm down in a bit. You know, he'll get better if he takes medicine. It's such a, an odd look. And maybe that's just the design and what they did with him wearing certain clothing that looked like he took it off a child or something. So, uh, But he has a, a really weird um, character. Now, again, the walk is something specific. At the very end, you'll realize why they they have him walk like all funny looking. But um, he walks like he has a taxi cab like permanently shoved up his ass. But even throughout it, I think they wanted to do it on purpose where Connor's character was smiling all the time because uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's character smiles and it's kind of like, you know, the his opposite. Or I think they were going for something like that, but it just came off as terrible acting. Uh, but it's not bad enough to where it's shit, like it makes you not enjoy it. You can still kind of go along with it, but... If he does stick with acting and he improves in like 15 years, he'll probably look back at this role and be like, holy shit, was that terrible? <laughs> Anyhow, um, I do want to get some stuff going here. What did I pull up? I was looking for some pictures for the thumbnail. So these really don't matter. But uh, here's the cast. That guy, Sam Elliott. Yeah, they have no like 
uh, mentor character in this as well. In the original of Roadhouse, you feel this, the crime family's stranglehold on the town. In this, it feels so disjointed that even though you see like a bad cop, you wonder what the hell everyone else is doing. They literally drive cars through buildings, they blow shit up, they burn shit down. And not only do cops not show up in a day and age where your people record everything, but people don't show up until after. They literally drive a boat through a building, a truck through a building. You know, I think there's a gunfight, there's other shit blows up, and only after people get their ass kicked, and make sure you guys can hear me before I, only after people get their ass kicked, do people show up and they're like, are you open? <laughs> it's like, where the fuck were you people before? They show a, a landscape shot, an, an establishing shot afterwards, and you see vehicles going up and down the street. Like, this isn't just something that's out of the way and no one... Go what about regulars as well? People that go there every day and yada, yada, yada. Um, there's just some really dumb shit with the remake. And I'm sure if you go back, you'll find some dumb shit with the original. But that leads me to my title in this stream. And this stream as well. If you have any suggestions, we're going to open up this stream to uh, more ideas for us hanging out every Sunday. Now, we don't have to do it late anymore. The Walking Dead is, is done. So we don't have to wait till 10. So we'll see. Uh, I preferably would like to... I did it later today just to kind of catch up with people who didn't uh, hear last week. But I probably want to do it a little earlier. Maybe 7. You know, maybe 7 at the latest. Uh, start it at least. But you guys let me know. Give thoughts, opinions, and suggestions. Uh, now's the time where I want to hear those opinions. This will be a bit of a free-for-all, so if you have anything you want to mention about any topic, put it in the comment box down below. Also, if you do watch the Roadhouse remake, um, I, I do think it's worth a watch. I, I don't think it's worth watching it in theaters. I'll be real with you. I know the director was like, he put a lot of passion, he said, into it, which I get it. But for me personally, I, I it's something where I wouldn't recommend. It, it's just not worth it watching it in theaters. It's not like a popcorn flick. And and part of me feels like the story takes a lot of that charm out of it. It's just some fucking UFC guy who gets a job as a bartender and leaves. That's it. You know, done. He does the job and goes home. Now, you have this movie with Warrior. Um, and it feels almost similar. You get this UFC, you get this UFC, you get this fighter. He has a traumatic backstory. He does a thing. And then I say goes home, but you know what I'm saying? Like exits the picture. Um, same thing with, uh, there's another one too, with UFC guy and UFC becoming, that's becoming more and more and more, um, the, the, the lazy writers thing to do. Like if someone back in the day, if someone was like, um, 70s and 80s they were a kung fu master they were a karate master they were whatever the fuck you know nowadays the lazy writer is like okay so i got this character who can fight really good he is in the ufc <laughs> you know it's like uh it's like the no thought put into it anyhow uh darian ortiz with a 21 membership to the map mob thank you very much soft batch with 26 month membership and jb wooly coming in with a 34 month uh membership Especially since we're going to be kicking off more streams and having a little bit more fun. Uh, this is even greater now that we can start hyping up some of the members. Uh, Staying, what is it, 21 months to 34 months. That's awesome that you guys are hanging out for the long haul. Let me see what the, the chat has to say. And I do want to find uh, 100 yen from Shouju. Is that what you said? I don't know what that is. Um, 66 cents super chat. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate the support. Anything helps. Um, let me go back up here to see some of the chat though. Put it on the, on the screen. We are kind of chilling. So there's no, I'm not in like a rush to hurry up. We're just going to hang out for a little bit and hopefully I'll get an idea of what you guys want to do for each week when I move, I already gave you guys an idea of, uh, and moving is, is, is work related. I know last week we joked about how many times have I moved. And, uh, I think I've moved like four times in the last 10 years or so, but, um, 
I think it seems like a lot more um, just because I mentioned it when it's on stream. But um, you guys know the idea, the backdrop here, and I want to create something that, that has the look of uh, a cabin uh, backdrop. So I'm going to put that. Uh, I'm going to hopefully get that together with this move. And uh, I might actually make some of it myself so that way I can customize it. Um, so we will do stuff while I'm moving. So just to warn you, like right now, there's a little bit of an echo. I'm, I have stuff torn down and most of my stuff is boxed up. So just bear with me on that. And then when we start that, hopefully uh, the new look will be good so we can do the uh, little podcast idea. Um, a Violent Nature, that's another one. I don't know if you guys seen that trailer yet, but that comes out at the end of May. And I'm really excited to see that, A Violent Nature. There's also Chucky, is it season three? I already seen Imaginary. I don't know if I even want to talk about that one. It's it's not, I spelled that wrong. It's, it's nothing crazy, you know? There's some good stuff in the beginning, and then it goes off the rails. Conor McGregor kept walking like an ape. Yeah, he walks like, you know, he does this little strut, and it doesn't really, it looks goofy until the end, and then it's kind of like, all right, it's supposed to be more comedic. Um, Roadhouse is a good movie. The new one, when you really can't watch older movies. The original Roadhouse is very old for me. Uh, the fight scenes were cool. Oh, that's what I wanted to mention. In the very beginning, I swear, there is something weird with Post Malone. I wish I could pull his fight scene up on, on screen. Actually, I think I can. Hold up. Yo, I might be able to. Let me see if I have. Because his fight is odd it looks like it's ai generated like it's cgi it's so fucking weird because it's not i think it's a higher frame rate and he's a clunky fighter and it looks weird when it when it came out but i had to rewind rewind it twice and i'm like what did they do with with his punches it looked so weird and i'm wondering if I'm wondering if it was blurry when they filmed it. Like maybe they're filming it and the way they move the camera, the way he's punching and fighting, if it ended up not as clean as they wanted it. Because if you look at the fight scenes, they do stuff that's very clean where you can see it even in motion. If you guys are paying attention when things move, especially you know in real life, um, there's a blur to there's a motion blur. Now, in Roadhouse, things are moving incredibly fast and there's no motion blur. And I think with um, Post Malone, what it looks like is there was maybe some motion blur. So they did like some AI shit to make it clean. But it really makes him look like he turns into a CGI guy, like a video game. And Punch, it's so terrible visually looking. I'm going to try to pull it up. Another thing I wanted to mention, though, is Roadhouse really drove home mistakes that they do with special effects and it has to do with, with the smallest of special effects adding that to scenes because stuff will happen and it looks entirely cl too clean like when you see car accidents cars going through entire walls like that when that happens in real life and the reason i say real life isn't because uh, movies are supposed to be real we know they're fake i mean it i it, it it makes me feel like I'm brain dead to have this conversation uh, that people actually say like, oh, it's fake movie. So, of course, it's fake in the, the thing. But the point, though, is visually it looks better and more convincing when it's done ultra realistic. Unless you're doing some cartoony movie like Sin City, then do whatever you want. But when you have a car drive through a building, you're going to have smaller particles, you know, dust and flakes and splinters. Well, in, in real life, if you look at them, sometimes there's so much of that dust, you could barely even see for a few seconds. Like the car's covered in dust and dirt and particles. Well, in a Roadhouse, when they do these scenes and, and uh, vehicles go through walls and shit, it is so clean that it looks funky, you know? Hold on. Uh, what is it? AMC? <coughs> Felt like I was gonna sneeze. AMC, but it's weird though, man. I was I was outside for a minute with the pollen. This time of year is real bad, 
and I didn't feel a thing. A lot of people were having allergies and today my eyes were burning, you know, and I don't have like allergies per se, but at this time of year, it hits me a couple of days and it's, it feels so random because it, it, the pollen will be thick yellow all over the cars outside and it won't bother me. But like two, three days later, I'm like, eyes are burning and I'm all irritated and I can't figure that out. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Uh, like it's not instant. <clears throat> all right. Let me pull this up. And I'll see what chat has to say in a second. I'm pretty sure my daughter found the movie on Prime, though. Let me look up. Uh, what was it called? Road, road. Yeah, what was it called? Roadhouse. Uh, and they do dumb shit, too. Like, Roadhouse, it was called The Double Deuce. And in this one, it's The Roadhouse is called The Roadhouse. And they make a point of being like, oh, uh... Why is it a roadhouse? You know, and it, like it's two words, road and house. I don't know. Am I excited for the new Alien movie? Yeah, you know what? I am. And I'm hoping it's good. <clears throat> oh, Phantom says, Ronnie, when they were driving them in the car uh, to the hospital, I thought they were going to jump him in the car. For a moment, I thought, you know, is this going to lead into some fight that leads to a new location? Uh, but then I, I realized they were going for something a little more comedic than the original did. And, I, you know, at that point, I was there for it. But I wanted to see what they would do with it. Am I excited for Fallout on Prime? Uh, no, I don't think I am. Uh, I'm going to watch it just because I've I've played the game. But uh, I don't know. The trailer looks awful, if I'm being honest. Excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry. Love your streams. Ronnie, I was in Japan, so I don't know how to change it back to UA USD. You don't have to change it back to USD. Yeah, it's neat. I like when uh, support comes in from different countries. I think that's awesome, though, that you're watching from Japan. Uh, that's actually really kick ass. Japan looks like a beautiful country, too. I've seen stuff where they don't even have like garbage. It seems simple, but um, they don't even have like garbage cans outside. It's real clean. And I'm sure that's certain parts of it. But uh from what we hear, you know, and again, you got to be careful with what you hear because it's not always honest. Sometimes they make other places seem worse than worse than they are. But uh, I hear a lot of positive things about Japan, about nice people, clean streets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can appreciate that. Um, mm, uh, no, I definitely moved more than twice in the last few years. I know uh, I moved here for work and I'm going to be moving again just to position myself around more uh, work potential. And it's not that far away either. It's just I want to go in a area that has more opportunity for uh, getting, a, getting work because I'm moving up with my HVAC training. Anyhow, uh, before that, I was farther away for the for COVID because we had originally. So that was one, two, you know, three, four. Yeah, it's about four in the last few years. Um, did you watch new AMC TV show Parish? No, I did not. Episode episode two airs tonight. Now you guys, let me know if it looks good or, or if it is good. I, I'm not big on. I've watched Drive and I've watched uh, a couple others. I'm not big on Getaway. Uh, because it looked like he's a getaway driver. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not big on those type of movies. Um, even pretty much anything with cars and chases. It's cool if there's a chase scene in the movie. That I'm fine with. But if the if that's a highlight of the movie and there's a lot of time spent in cars, I get bored fast. I don't know how. I don't know how, how else. I don't know why that I do, though. Oh, wow. They can't play it. I think it's because I'm streaming. Damn. Because Google does that where, yeah, if you're streaming, <clears throat> Google won't let you play a screen recorder while you're playing some other video. Like YouTube doesn't show up. AMC doesn't show up. I, I had to get around AMC. Some other way. I'm going to try that again. You might have to just go watch it on your own and just watch it for the very beginning. Post Malone. Yeah, Post looked a AI, didn't he? Something is weird with it. I swear, if they come out and discuss what's going on, there's just something. What's your thoughts on Alien Rom Romulus? See, this is why I wanted to... I think this is kind of good gauging 
what you guys are interested in as well is um, I kept my eye on alien Rom Romulus stuff like a new alien. Is it a TV show or a movie? Uh, like a new F Jason Voorhees movie, Friday or uh, Halloween TV show, or not movie but TV show. Um, keep my eye out for it. However, I'm not like diving into what's all there and what's it going to be about. So, like my thing is with Alien, a new one. I hope they move away from David and his experiments, and they go back to something more. Um, something less human, you know, something that's more sci-fi, more creature element, you know, stick with the engineers and like stick with that shit. Uh, and I don't even want to see that per se. I, I want to see just the aliens. I don't need all this backstory and origin. They already went that direction. So as long as alien is give us a little bit more of the original alien slash aliens, and maybe with a, a new twist on it, that isn't, you know, changing, um, you know, changing things so much. I think that's where the sweet spot is for what I'm looking forward to enjoy for an alien movie. <laughs> yeah, I watched The Last Voyage of the Demeter. I seen that last year. It was it was all right. Uh, I expected it to be a lot better. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. I'm excited for a violent nature. I'm really excited for it. I already know I'm going to have problems with the perspective because it follows the killer the entire time. And that sounds like an awesome idea for a few scenes, no doubt. However, a whole movie, it feels like that's where it's easy to get hung up on um, <clears throat> a disconnection to, you know, the victims or, or the other cast. Because if we're following the Jason Voorhees character around the entire time, it's going to make it difficult for us to get a connection to the characters. Even if it's one where you look forward to them getting killed, or maybe it's ones you like and you want to watch them be the final girl or become the final girl, or guess which one's the final girl. It, it, it No matter what what's going on, it, I don't know, man. It, it, uh, it feels like there's a potential for weakness in the storytelling. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still in North Carolina. Power wash stream. One time I moved from rear uh, three three eight two to three eight two. It was literally across the yard. Uh, I've moved from duplexes before, like from one to the next, and I think I did that just because. Well, there was some other stuff going on, but just the main thing was uh, because the layout of the houses, although very similar. There was like a bigger living room. I think it was like the living room, dining room connected. The other one, it was like cut in half. So you had to be in one or the other and it was annoying. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure stuff like that. And um, I think the bedroom was bigger the way the house was shaped. You finally got YouTube premium for three months. Haven't seen much different. Bro, I don't know what's wrong with you then. If you have YouTube Premium, you don't see any ads at all. That should be the the one main thing that you see all time. Especially if you watch YouTube rarely ever, YouTube Premium do, isn't doesn't do shit. But if you watch YouTube every day, uh, YouTube Premium is like the only way to watch YouTube now because it cuts all the ads out. You know, totally out. And it's still you give a little bit of money to the creators. You know, it's not much, but. At least it's better than doing ad block where in reality, if we all did that, the whole system would, would crumble because nothing could sustain itself. Is Caitlin uh, Deaver, is that her name? Diver? Confirmed as Abby for The Last of Us Season 2? Yes, she is. Um, <clears throat> Connor said now he can play any role from now on. Yeah, no fucking way. He needs to work on his acting. You know, you could be a hard ass all you want, man. If you want to be a legitimate actor, you're going to have to humble yourself a bit because uh, your acting was fucking terrible. Uh, it's easy to be like the goofy like villain. Anyone can suddenly just be like, yeah, I'm here. Yo. You look like you're having a smash. Anyone could do stupid shit like that. But if you want to get into real complex characters, that's where you're going to see him hitting a wall. And maybe he could pull it off. You know, we'll see. Even uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger took a little bit of time. To really uh, develop his, his craft. 
there there's a real teaser trailer for Alien Romulus. Oh wait a minute, no, I I think there was. I think I know what you're talking about. Um, did I watch that? I wonder if I watched that. Second. One second. All right, Alien Romulus. Romulus. Trailer. There we go. <clears throat> I gotta put it on now. There's one simple vision hack. Anyone? Oh, I was about to say, why is it, um, why is it playing an ad? And that's because I, I put it up on something else. Let me get rid of that. Here is, uh, what is it? Roadhouse. I found Roadhouse. I want to see if this will play. If not, oh well. Yeah, it plays Thanks now. Thanks to the film Civil War. This program is oh, brought to you ad-free after the following message. Civil War. Anyone seen Civil War? I want to like I want to watch it and I hope I like it. However, it feels like one of those movies where it's easy for them to be so obsessed on current day politics that they jam it in there whether it fits or not. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, so here it is. Is this the end of it? Why is it so dim? Oh, right here. Yeah. It's so, it's just so weird looking, man. It's so weird looking. It's going to be on this side, so I might have to move it down a little. Let me move it down a little. So you guys can see some most of it. I think it's I think it's this one right here. Yeah, right here. Bro, what is going on? Tell me that doesn't look weird as shit. What in the world is going on with that? There and there. Dude, something is up. Something happened, man, cuz that looks like a video game. I don't know what what's what post Malone man. I don't know. You give most people an opportunity to, you know, fight on the big screen. Like I don't give a shit if I got to work out every second of the day, man. And maybe I I don't know. Maybe he's supposed to look like he's just some punk off the street, but I'm watching him the way he moves, his body type and is utterly ridiculous, you know? He's fucking fat and out of shape. He he punches like He's never thrown a punch in his life. And not only that, whatever's going on with that CGI, that shit look weird as hell. That is weird. All right. I'm going to pull up uh, Romulus. Alien Romulus. <clears throat> Trailer. Now, I can't play it on screen. I might be able to try. Run. 
Oh, you know what? Bro, I didn't know they had like legit. I honestly, like I said, I've been working so much uh, trying to study HVAC and all that. I thought they just did. Like I watched the Beetlejuice teaser and it was fun. But at the same time, there's there's nothing there. But Michael Keaton being like, uh, you know, and, and sometimes teasers get you exciting. But I think nowadays I, I'm just burned out of so much meat like meh entertainment that I just don't even give a shit about teasers anymore because it's I think it's a combination of meh and waiting forever, you know, not even waiting a while. It's not like you see a teaser. It comes out in a year. It's like, here's a teaser. And then you're fucking waiting. It's delayed. It's blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, or like coming out that year. I mean, anyway, I like that look though. Yeah. Oh, face huggers are, are creepy as shit. I love them. They'll fuck your face. Face fuckers. Oh. <laughs> Four pounds and ninety nine pence from Lukey Mason. Sorry if you've already mentioned it. I've only just joined. Watched Immaculate the other day, and I have to say it's so overrated. What do you think? Uh, I didn't even have an interest. Thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. Uh, support's awesome. Um, I put it this way. I didn't even have the slightest urge to watch it at all. So maybe I'll look up a trailer because I could be mixing it up with another movie, but that's where I stand. I have no desire to see it unless it's the wrong movie. I'll look in a second. Look at that. He, that, face, that face fucker fucked her face. Oh. One, one thing I don't want them to do is just do a, a copy and paste Ripley. You know, like I think it would have been cool to hype it up as, you know, um, we've already like just as a soldier, like some dude who what's it? What's a guy that would have been a perfect casting for that? Like, like he puts in work and, you know, maybe he even has to deal with a Ripley like character. And then um, uh, I don't know if this is a movie or show, though, because you, you might not have too long. But you can ease into her um, taking over the reins, but kind of do like a, give us a little bit of, you know, that soldier. Because we, we did have it with Alien. Uh, I'm sorry, Aliens. However, there was there was a little restraint to it. And I love Aliens. Don't get me wrong. I don't want anything different. I'm just at, I'm just saying for something new, we could have had something uh, new incorporated into it. But we'll see. Instead of just copy and paste new Ripley. Because they've already tried that and it didn't work. You can't do like a new Ripley. You know what I'm saying? Like Ripley was fucking awesome. And we have the mouth. Uh, it's not a lot to see. But that's alright. The face huggers look great. Run. Yeah, they are creepy as shit. That's a scary movie monster right there. The face huggers? Oh, man. They choke you. You go to breathe, and then they fuck your face. Like, that shit's scary. <laughs> you know? Fuck. And I love the look of, of this, too. This looks awesome. <laughs> you see that immaculate? You don't need that, 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 this, or this. What is this one? And I kill that movie. I shouldn't have done trailer. I spelled it wrong. Pfft, go figure. Uh, yeah, I don't think I give a shit about religious movies. In nowadays, if for a reason, but I'm still searching. they've just been done to death. And what's her name? Sweetie, something's been in it. 
she's like the new hotness, the new eye candy. And I don't remember her name. Oh, Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, she's like the new Jenna Ortega. Uh, I thought Jenna Ortega had a little more, uh, I don't know, a little more fire when she came on the scene, though. And that might have just been because I enjoyed more movies that she was in, like Sweeney. Sydney Sweeney was in was she some TV show that I don't give a shit about. Uh, what's that? Um, Madam Web, that looks cringe as hell. This, that I don't give a shit about. I'm still searching for what that reason is. Yeah, I've seen this trailer. I have no interest in it at all. Too much blood of Christ. With child. To love. <laughs> I wonder why this is the most watched. You see a top tit jiggle. And then every 12-year-old is rewinding it. <laughs> Sending screen grabs to their friends. What the fuck are we doing here, people? It's a top tit. Go away. Luke Mason, thank you very much. You said it's overrated. I'll take your word for it. It looks overrated. Is there a sequel? Is it the sequel for Alien Covenant? I don't know enough about it. I don't believe it is, but I don't believe we know for sure. If anyone in, in the chat knows and they want to correct me. No, I haven't anything I checking out. Uh, what movie was awful? I like that you showed in the beginning. PM was like that. Thoughts on rumors of a Red Dead Redemption movie in the works? I, I just, something like Red Dead Redemption... I think if the right team did it, you can do an amazing movie. But the fans are so connected with Ar Arthur Morgan, you would it would have to be right. You know what I'm saying? Like it would have to be done right. And I think if you did a really long, not a theater, I mean you could do a theater movie, but nowadays with streaming, if you took advantage of that, and did like a really long four hour epic or something. Um, you could probably do something off the hook. Because again with the game. And this is why I, I, I argue. You can have a movie experience from a video game. That boil that you know boils it down to like it's con concentrated parts. Of um, like in its purest form. And if you want more of that, more from that, you want to experience more, uh, you know, uh, immersion and yada, yada, yada. That's what the game is for. So you could play the game and you could go anywhere you want. You could do the missions when you want, how you want, um, interact with the townspeople, how you want, hunt when you want, how you want, experience that world and that immersion, how you want, when you want. And if you don't want to, just don't, you know, and then you get the movie. And the reason why I say make it, you know, a four hour epic is because I, I do think there's a, enough story there where you're going to want to have at least like three hours. You don't want to jam a 90 minute Red Dead Redemption movie. Oh, the uh, audio that could be a streaming issue. I've had that happen where. The streaming was just off, you know, and I had to reset it. That happened with AMC actually quite a bit with The Walking Dead. Oh, and I was I was going with Arthur, but yeah, you could cover. I mean, the thing is, you would probably want to do it, and if it did well, do another one. When, when if it comes to the Red Dead Redemption movie, if they were to do one. What up, Chris? I gave up on TV movie entertainment. I don't want to give up totally. I do think, like I said, I'm leaning towards uh, supporting more and more indie stuff, and uh, we are starting to see some. I know, you know. Hopefully, if things go well. Um, I would like to be involved in putting out stuff as well. Start small and then... So I think now is like the time. Hollywood is filling all their shit with junk, you know? Every time something comes up, Hollywood goes. Uh, and, you know, it's not it's not always terrible, but you don't want 
Like, for example, if you go and say, I have this new movie, here's two characters, they get attacked, and yada, yada, yada. I want, you know, uh, what's the guy? The guy who played Pennywise, Crow, for example. I want him in it. The studio is immediately going to make you cast uh, interracial, uh, I'm sorry, interracial relationship couple for it. And I've talked about this in the past. And this is the one thing that's glaringly obvious. I talked about this a few years ago that from the top down, it was being more mandated where like this is uh, the direction you want to go. And it's not just having that. It's not like, oh, oh, no, they shouldn't mix. That's idiotic. It's the idea that you have studio heads taking some ridiculous approach by saying it needs to be you have uh, a square block here. Or you need to put a, a circle next to it. No matter what, it doesn't matter if it if you have a better casting. Doesn't matter if you have. It doesn't matter what you have. You know, and I think with that type of oversight, you're gonna it it spills into the rest of the project. So when you have Hollywood just shitting up, look at how much stuff they're putting out that is just mid mid as fuck. You know, now would be the time. You don't have to rely on theaters. You could put it out even on YouTube. You could put it out on Kickstarter. Uh, you can make physical copies yourself. You yourself, if you're an Indian enter entertainer, you don't have to deal with some asshole like Harvey Weinstein cutting you out of theater distribution. And that's what he did with Boondock Saints and other projects um, in the past. You got some scumbag piece of shit that Hollywood protected that would jam. You don't have any of that anymore. So as long as you can orchestrate it and go for the long investment, because you're not going to get your money back releasing it out on YouTube the first week, the first month, it might take a few years. It might even take a, a few years and a few sequels. Look at Terrifier. Uh, the first, you know, thing that terror, the art, the clown was in, didn't make the guy who made it immediately rich the next day. He had to go work at it. And then, you know, one movie led to two, led to three and blah, blah, blah. If we could get 10 more terrifiers as an example, uh, I think we'd be sitting pretty, you know, 10 different and disconnected. You don't want to have, um, you know, the same person making it because then if that house falls, you lost your independent plug for entertainment, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to go on and on about it, but. <clears throat> yeah, super chats have talk, text to speech. Anything, any any support does. Uh, I think the new Alien Romulus is a uh, midquel that takes place in between Alien and Aliens. That would be cool, but it it's not connected then, right? Because how would that make sense? <clears throat> Ron, just out of curiosity, do you think it would have been better for Ring to have lost his hand, Rick? You mean in a more realistic way, like an accident? You know, I don't know if it'd be better I just because of that, but I do wish they had something a little more intense, you know, even that same, even if it was that same similar concept, but it, it just felt rushed, you know, it just it felt too rushed. Um, how it was set up, how it was done, you can do that all over again. Film it in slightly different, better of a way and and done something that didn't feel as rushed and that was more impactful. <clears throat> um, the Marvels was bad. Yeah, that looked terrible. Uh, it was not a sequel to Covenant. It takes place between Alien and Alien. So it does take place between Alien and Aliens? How? Who does it cover? Because they didn't know about it. There was a lot of time, character-wise, what was it, like 90 years, 50 years, something like that? I think it was like 50 years, uh, human years in the movie, between Alien and Aliens, because the ship got, like, uh, lost, kind of, right? While she was in, in uh, sleep. Um, uh, Red Dead Redemption might need to be a TV show versus a movie. It Probably. I mean, would they do that, though? I don't know. Uh, you have to admit the dialogue for Red Dead Redemption 2 is pure gold. For the video game, dialogue is great. What did you think about the new Crow remake trailer? I don't like the look of Eric Draven. I don't like the look of it. The trailer is weird. He wants to save a girl that's already dead. And I think someone in the chat said he's saving her soul or something. 
I, I don't know. I think we're com complicating things a bit. It's a revenge story. What's this saving her soul shit? You know, I know the other one had superstition, obviously, in it. Uh, a double dose of it, so to speak. But I don't know. Some of it just feels a bit off. And then Crow looks like a pussy. Let's be honest. And it feels like it's that idea where he's only going to be the crow for the last 15 minutes. And I loathe when filmmakers do that nine times out of ten. You bought the box set from The Walking Dead Season 1 to 11? The DVD box set. I'm not buying or watching DVDs. That video quality sucks. But the Walking Dead DVD box looks awesome. The artwork. I would love that in a poster. Uh, and I was this close to considering one day buying the Blu-ray. But I'm going to stick to my individual releases. Because I saw someone buy it and they opened it up. Did a little video on Amazon. And it's the piece. If It's the shittiest quality. It's like paper with plastic. You know. And that's it. It's paper glued to plastic. And it's got a ton of discs, obviously, but it's just this block of just paper with plastic and a, and a slip cover over it. And the artwork looks awesome, and it's different on the Blu-ray and the DVD, but it looks like a piece of shit. And I already have it, you know, on uh, Blu-ray for most of it. I don't have like 9, 10, and 11, but whatever. £19.99 <clears throat> pence from Lukey Mason. Been a fan of your channel since TWD Season 7 Epi 1 when we all knew it was spoilers rather than predictions ha ha. First live I've managed to catch as I'm in the UK and I don't have work Monday. Thank you for all the content. Huh. Uh, Maxine trailer comes out tomorrow. I did not know that. That looks awesome. Uh, and that better be a joke, Luke May uh, Mason. Because I fucking hated um, spoilers, but... I tell you, my God, when you're wrong, people call you an idiot. Like when your prediction was wrong, and I'm taking that as a joke because that shit's annoying. <laughs> when you're wrong, they call you an idiot. When you're right, you just looked up spoilers and you can't win. Uh, and that's one of the things why, like, I'm glad we don't do prediction videos anymore. Not only is it, do people not care immediately after your the episode airs and it, the predictions don't matter, um, like those videos, people never, I mean, one person watched a year and I don't even know how much they watch, but that's how few that rewatch those videos. Obviously, why would you? It's old. It's, it's irrelevant anyhow. Um, but he said, but thank you very much for the 20. Uh, we all knew it was spoilers rather than predictions. Yeah. I'm taking that as a joke. <laughs> First live I've managed to catch as I'm in the UK. Don't have work Monday. Thank you for all the content. Well, thank you very much for the support, and hopefully that'll be a remedy. We're going to do these streams a little earlier, and we can... I'm trying to crack my back. We can mix some in uh, now that I, I have a lot of... Like I said, I'm moving, and I got a lot of studying to do. I'm, I'm taking my HVAC exam uh, probably in May, and in June, I'm going to be hands-on. I mean, right now, I'm already hands-on starting to fix some. But I'm going to be hands-on and after work just studying because I, I want to be able at the end of this year to go for a boss position and go, you know, go up and, and be able to fix whatever is put in front of me. So I really need to absorb it. So, you know, this the beginning of this summer is going to be a little rough, but uh, hopefully we can find a happy medium. Uh, Breaking Bad might be close second, in my opinion, for what great TV shows. Uh, did you check out Imaginary, the horror movie? I seen it. It was it was decent until the and it's it's funny too. Imaginary, it, the trailer makes it seem like. Let me watch the trailer again because I swear the trailer was about a little girl, and it's not. It's about some chick who married in, not married yeah married into a ready made family, and it's Jesus from The Walking Dead actually is the father, and this isn't a trope that no one talks about. We all. Like people like to talk about stupid tropes uh, or the most common old tropes. But nowadays people talk about stupid tropes online where like um, the girl can't die because then it's it's uh, what it's called something. There's fridging. There's fridging and there's something else. It's really dumb, though. But 
the it happens once and then you know it's a trope that happens in everything but um if you take movies as a whole and look at it and count it up the shit that we call tropes a lot of it is is done to death but there's so much of it that isn't called tropes that constantly happen back to back but this trope is where you have the father the husband the whatever the married individual and it's usually like the the mother you know playing stepmom or the new mom and the father's either out at work, leaves on a business trip. It's always him going away and he doesn't matter. Like he started to matter in imaginary and then he disappears for the rest of the movie and he doesn't matter at all. And at that point, I wonder what is the point of making some girl who, you know, some stepmommy story, just do a father daughter story at that point, you know, because <laughs> where do you, where do you, come up with this. I mean, maybe you had a stepmother and that was really impactful and you wanted to tell a story with a stepmom. But at that point, what are we doing? Cause the father like just disappears. He goes to work and it's gone. Anyhow, imaginary was interesting up until a point where it went to another dimension. Then it was too weird for me. And I appreciate the, the practical, uh, bad guy. They, they didn't use, uh, CGI, it was like a, a man in a suit look, you know, and I appreciate that a lot. However, I it just it didn't have the oomph, you know, but I get what they were doing. Um, oh, and the, the creature had like seven different looks. That was annoying. Uh, do you have an honest take on the story from Red Dead Redemption 2? An honest take on it? I. Uh, uh, no, I don't. I don't know. I mean, different than anything I've said before. The honest thing has, that's a, that's throwing me off. Like, wouldn't every, every take be honest or am I missing it? Is like an honest take. Does that, is that like internet slang for something that's going over my head? Maybe a hot take. Uh, I think Red Dead Redemption 2 story is overrated. <laughs> I know if the fan bit, the fans are going to go nuts. Yeah, I think it's overrated. Uh, I do like the idea of you know dying from something of that time and i like how it's incorporated and, and i do enjoy a, tr a great amount of the story i think it fumbles in my personal enjoyment with the bad guys and and capping that story off because it, it for me it felt like it just putters out and I know what I know they were going for something, but it did for me. It didn't hit as much. It was it was still enjoyable, but the way the fans reacted to it, I I personally found it to be overrated, like a motherfucker. But that's not saying like it was terrible. I just didn't think it it was as amazing as as fans um, others thought it was. Dude, I think I would have been better had they showed the many times Rick tried escaping in the scene. That opens the first episode being like his hundredth time trying to escape. Uh, I probably would have enjoyed something like that instead. <laughs> Luke said, yeah, it was a joke. Don't worry. Well, I ain't worried. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, did you see the trailer that movie Abigail? Any thoughts on it? Is that where they kidnapped the vampire? It's in, It looks interesting. The trailer didn't convince me of anything, though. But the concept could be a good popcorn flick. They've done that before, though. I know there's an indie movie that did it where they kidnapped a kid that ended up being a monster. I think that was actually in Tales of Halloween or something. Something like that. And then there was another one where they kidnapped a kid. And, cause I, I remember in one of them, the, the father was like, you kidnapped who? Oh, you can keep him, you know? <laughs> so, anyway. Uh... I appreciate it, Luke. Honestly, I would have preferred Rick losing his hand uh, because his disobedience to Negan. That might have been more impactful than what we got. Shout out to the UK. What are you saying? I'm on my head. The father-in-law does HVAC. He's now retired. He's a badass. Well, I hope to inspire to be like your father-in-law, a badass. If you want to really work HVAC, can set you up for life. Life. Yeah, HVAC is something in this area where, and I already have my eye on a business idea I'm developing, or, well, that sounds more professional than it is. I'm, I'm thinking about this business idea, 
just because I've been noticing something uh, in the industry. And the more I look into it, uh, the more I'm like, someone's going to come along and fill this gap. And I know there's like, there, I swear to you, there's this you know million dollar idea, but I'm trying to see how do I incorporate that into, uh, into a practical sense, you know? Um, anyhow, uh, HVAC is desperately needed in this area. I know it's funny because people on in on uh, Reddit, I hate Reddit, but in North Carolina Reddit, they were like, oh man, I need to make some more money, blah, blah, blah. And I was telling them like, bro, get some hand tools. Here's where you go. Like they'll hire you immediately. You could do this type of work because this area is starving for work. At the minimum, you can get 17 an hour. Quickly, you can go to 19. Uh, you could bounce up to 20, 21, 22. And that's, you know, that's without being getting into HVAC. And um, that's even before HVAC. And so many of the people are like, no. <laughs> as soon as I mention that, they're like, you know, what the fuck that? You know, I actually got to work like in the heat, you know, I actually got to like do something that takes effort. There's a lot of people to my surprise that because, um, you know, if it comes to it and I need money and I need to support my family and I'm like, there's a job. If that job sucks, but it pays, I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because it pays. I'll worry about finding something later that I love. But so many people nowadays, I just I just don't know how they exist. Because you tell them like, you know, here's people that are desperate to hire you. Get a couple hand tools, a couple screwdrivers, a, you know, borrow some off a, a family member if you don't got them. Get a little bag. And I'm telling you, as long as you work and you don't even, it's not even backbreaking work when you first start because people will train you along the way. I'm like, it's ridiculously easy, but so many people are like, nah, I'm not having it. Cause it sounds like, you know, it sounds like a lot of work, I guess. Anyway, have I seen better call Saul? Yeah. I, I watched that long ago. There hasn't been any good movies since 2019. That's rough. Hopefully we get some updates on Crystal Lake TV show soon. I would love some updates on that soon. Um, how funny would it be if they have ghosts on Fear the Walking Dead? Oh man, that'd be terrible, man. That'd absolutely be terrible. Will I be playing Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC for Elden Ring? When does that come out? I do want to play that actually. Elden Ring was was a very interesting gaming experience. I'm not a big fan of how much time you have to spend with attack patterns. However, utilizing the the little uh it's not a cheat. It's a game mechanic, but it's so weird how people like view that as cheating. It's just weird. Not even cheating, but it's it's a game. Imagine if you have a game that has seven different guns, but people only want you to use the you know, the flint lock pistol and a bow and arrow. And if you use any of the other guns, you know, if you use a sniper and a M16, then it's like, oh, you're playing on super easy and you're cheating. And you get what they're going for, you know what I mean, in that respect. But at the same time, they made the game to be played that way. You know what I'm saying? And if so, that stuff, me personally, I don't care. I, you know, I'm going to go and have fun with it. I forget what they're called, too. Uh, summons. That's what they are, right? Um, am I looking forward to that new spider horror movie called Sting? Is there a trailer out? I saw the poster at the at the theater. Um, where is it? You're telling me I don't have anything over here? Give me this. Uh. Sting. You called about the noises in your walls, right? Oh, no, 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 not me. <laughs> you sure about that? Uh, big arachnophobia. <gasps> I don't think I watched this trailer. I need you to watch Liam. 
Why? Because he's six months old and he eats paper. Every Good. time I try and connect, she takes two steps back. No, Ethan. Well, bitch. You hungry? Cool. We're gonna call you Sting. Hi, Eric. Could a spider grow twice as big in a couple of hours? No. That is a physiological impossibility. Sweet Jesus, what the hell happened to it? Rats. I don't think a rat's gonna do that. Mm. Yeah, I haven't seen this trailer. Only know two things. Eat and kill. What kind of spider are we talking about here? Big one. <laughs> Gross. Will paralyze its prey because it likes to feed on living flesh. Well, that's a spoiler. <laughs> it's all my fault. We have to deal with this together. Oh, maybe not. He gets put in a web. Yeah, there's very few things. April 12th, that's coming out. There's very few things that give me the heebie-jeebies. And spiders and sharks are those things. I am not a fan of spiders. Not even a little bit. So I'll watch that. That'll. I remember Arachnophobia gave me the creeps. When I ate cereal, anyone remember that movie? I When I ate cereal, I would pull for like three years after watching that movie, I would pull the... Uh, the clear bag out of the box and I would never stick my hand uh, directly into the cereal box from that point on. Even when I ate dry cereal, I would dump it out just because the one guy stuck his hand in cereal and pulled out like a dead spider uh, interactive phobia. That was a good one. I think they had like Jeff Daniels, John Candy, it was John Candy, right? Mm -hmm. And, and I'm pretty sure we saw that in a drive in when I was a little kid. I know some of the movies that I think if I remember right, that were, some of the more the best experiences in a drive-in when I was a kid was I'm almost positive it was arachnophobia, um, but Jurassic Park was probably the best drive-in experience. And then um, Congo, for whatever reason, was also another awesome drive-in experience. And I think there was two or three others, but those are like my tops, I think. Anyhow, um, I've seen the the trailer for Monkey Man. Yeah, there's a lot of promotion pushing in the UK. You should watch the trailer. It's not hard. I I just seen that trailer and some about it is weird. I'm hoping I enjoy it, but I do want to check it out. It has my interest enough. It comes out June twentieth. What's June twentieth? The uh, Sting? No, no, that's April twelfth. What were we talking about? That's June. What's HVAC? The uh, heating. And air conditioning. I think it's heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Uh, what is HVAC stand for? But I know it's your air conditioning repair. HVAC. Uh, air conditioning, which is impressive. Heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Oh, I had it right. Yeah. Um, instead of Walking Dead reboot, I think they should fire the writers and just rewrite the Rick and Michonne series because I'm so used to Andrew Lincoln. Ouch. I've been farming the bird. I don't know what that even means. I'm going to play the shit out of Elden Ring. Oh, that's probably the Elden, Elden Ring stuff. A Legged Freaks was another good spider movie. <clears throat> I remember that one as well. I wasn't big on That was like more comedy though, right? <clears throat> like more comedy horror. Uh, the new Crow looks like absolute dog shit. I'm a huge fan of the original. I still have my VHS copy. Soundtrack and everything was perfect. Yeah, the original Crow is a banger. <clears throat> I have the um, Steelbook on pre-order for 4K. 
And I'm actually excited to rewatch The Crow. I'm more excited to rewatch The Crow in 4K than I am watching the new Crow. <laughs> Believe it or not. I know it was your cup of tea, but how do you feel about the movie Civil War coming out? Uh, yeah, I just talked about this a little bit ago. I am I, I like the war movies, especially some that are, are futuristic slash... Uh, it's not futuristic, but it's predictive futuristic, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, they don't have, like, flying cars, but it could be, like, a future of a realistic outcome of yada, yada, yada. I just hope they don't cram too much modern-day shit into it, like... Uh, that don't fit just just to do it, you know. They like, I don't care what side you're on. You know, you know what I mean? It would be really weird to to just jam shit in there that doesn't seem to fit. Uh, so and I, but I hope it's I hope it's good. Cuz the problem with that though is sometimes they have a they have a blind tendency to do like um look at this redneck uh Republican. Uh he just loves guns and loves killing people, you know? And then, then you don't have, because they have such a, a, I don't know. It's not even stupid. It's just, they have such a paper thin view of that type of villain. When it translates to screen, it's not interesting to watch. You know what I'm saying? So if it's not interesting to watch, there's less to, to really grab hold of. Now, if you write, if it's a villain type character that you're writing, you don't want people to be like, or you're not writing it for people to love the character, but those characters are more interesting if you write them to give us a second, a second twitch of, uh, wait, you know, like I wasn't on his side, but, oh, he makes a lot of sense, but man, that's fucked up. Like make it more layered. There's more complex. I think that works so much better than simply being like, I hate these type of people, so I'm going to do paper thin, blah, blah, blah. Hollywood does that far too much, especially in comic books. Comic books do that uh, to a degree that is almost laughable. Spiders and needles in my eye make me get uneasy. Yeah, I think needles in the eye get most people uneasy. HVAC is heating and AC. I love the OG Crow. Uh, has anyone watched the first Omen yet? Here yet? Wanted to know anyone's opinions before. I haven't seen it. I have not seen it. Some people I heard liked it, though, but you never know. Those are like a hit or miss. I do want to wrap this up. I need to grab some sleep for tomorrow. And where are we at? Yeah, we're already past an hour. And we are going to hang out. I, I know next week maybe a little more. You know what? I can't even say that. I was going to say maybe it's a little more topic orient orientated, but we'll see how this week goes and how much more stuff there is. Because I, I don't want to jump on with a singular topic and then have people be like, well, I don't want to stop by because I'm not too interested in that. But in reality, we talk about a few different things. So we'll we'll have to see what we do. But 70s Omen, the 80s Omen, you got, they should do one for each decade. Just get it over with. 50s omen i mean that would be easy to title that would be easy to come up with the time period you know imagine if you did a omen the 80s omen 70s omen 50s omen 40s omen 30s omen man you could keep going <laughs> you you know you just don't stop that'd be crazy the 70s omen. oh you mean the original original the original was was decent i think luke is talking about the remake origin one right the first is it called the first omen i think it is called the first omen uh, i'm gonna keep an eye out for the eclipse tomorrow but i don't think my area is getting a full eclipse so i i remember i seen one like what 20 years ago when was the last eclipse i, I i'm positive i was in pennsylvania and i remember some people being dumb about you know, not um, using glasses and looking like that. You get just idiots. And I'm almost positive we had a pretty good eclipse in Pennsylvania like 20 years ago. Because it matters on what location you're at. Let me see. Uh, eclipse. Uh, 
one was the last one, though. Last solar eclipse visible in the U.S. occurred Monday, August 21st, 2017. It's path of the West. Oh, that was the West Coast. What was the last? List of solar eclipses. Uh, August 21st, 2017. And then it goes to 1987. Well, that can't be right then. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Because I definitely don't remember 87. I'm too little. Uh, yeah, I got to shave my head. I've heard of intermittent fasting, yeah. The new one is a prequel to the original Omen. I knew it was connected. I just couldn't remember. I thought we had one. So 87. 87. And it was 100 years before that, 1897. How do you know that? Let me see. I guess you can see the orbit, though. But how, how would you know for sure? No, that'd be fucked up. Like, something weird happened, right? Is there video of the last eclipses? December 4th, 2021. Last 10 minutes. Solar eclipses throughout history. Man, I swear I remember... Even as a kid, they would talk about it. And I don't know. There's going to be a million tourists. Your area that must be the area that's like in line for it. I know they have a, uh, a map that shows you where it'll be like where you're standing. It's like a partial eclipse. And then there's that sweet spot where it's a full dead on eclipse. And I know we're, I believe I'm, we're not even, where I'm at, at isn't even anything. You know, you'll get, you'll see something, but it's not like a partial eclipse as far as the map goes. And it's definitely not a full eclipse. So for us, it'll probably be, uh, it'll probably look like a cloudy day, <laughs> you know, or if not, then what's the point of having the two different ones if we're all going to see the same similar thing? You get what I'm saying? Because depending on the angle, uh, you're not all going to have that level of coverage as far as the, uh, the sun being blocked. I'm curious about that, though. Yeah, we are getting total eclipse going to be cloudy, though, which sucks. Uh, yeah, they said that the clouds will, will affect, obviously... Because if it's a bright, shiny day and it gets covered up, that'll probably look drastic. Although you're seeing the same thing, it'll probably be more, uh, more drastic. Uh, intermittent fasting can stimulate hair growth. Well, I'm good on that. First off, I hate fasting and I shave my head anyway. So <laughs> it's not going to help me much. Yeah, my hair no, my hair grows stupid. It's flat and dumb. It doesn't do shit. So unless I throw gel in it and whatnot, but I don't have time for that. Would get more views if you streamed Mania. I'm good with. I would rather crawl and have twenty people on here than stream wrestling. I've never been interested in wrestling, and I'm assuming you're talking about wrestling. I've never been interested in wrestling a day in my life. Imagine me streaming wrestling. First off, the stream would get taken down, right? I, I just don't understand that comment. Unless you mean something different. But I'm assuming you mean wrestling. First off, I can't even show it. Second off, uh, I don't know anything about wrestling. I don't even know the people unless it's, I don't know, Hulk Hogan or, or fucking The Rock or something. Uh, I don't enjoy it. I don't you know, have anything to say about it. So I don't I don't think that's accurate. 
<laughs> I don't think anyone would stop by to watch some asshole that doesn't like wrestling watch wrestling. I wonder how many people are going to go blind being dumb. Too many, you know? You got to be an absolute idiot. And I do believe there's a lot of cases of, correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe there's a lot of cases where it's, they like have like a, a temporary, um, I don't know if it's like temporary damage, but they fuck their shit up for a little bit. I could have sworn I heard a news story about something like that. Uh, why do I hate fasting? Because the idea of being hungry on purpose, you know, I've been hungry, you know, in real life, unwillingly. <laughs> The idea of being hungry and starving on purpose, it just makes me irritable. I'm not doing that, you know? Absolutely not. Unless there's like a health reason where, you know, if a doctor sits me down and is like, hey, we need to do this, this, and this. Other than that, I have no interest in fasting, you know? I would rather work out more, you know, and or, or do something. I'm not just going to starve myself for a, a day, two days, whatever. I live where it's going to be a total eclipse. Well, I get some video of it, you know. I want to look up some videos and see what other people see. Because I don't think we're going to get much. I tuned in for Nostalgia Man. The rock and stuff was back. Uh, oh, Manny. Well, I'm glad. I mean, you could t tune into it, you know. It makes sense if you liked it. But I'm telling you from my perspective, I just, I have no... I never watched it ever as a kid. I know I had an uncle that watched, you know, wrestling. I never watched it, never got into it. I just, it just wouldn't make any sense for me. Uh, you're going to be one of them that goes blind. Oh man. With that, I got to go. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys next week and we'll, uh, uh, we'll just discuss it then. Cause I do want to go over a couple things, but, uh, YouTube has been lacking showing your videos. Yeah, we got to get more consistent stuff up and then YouTube because the way the algorithm does it, if you fall back, they fall back. So we're going to start putting out some more stuff. Um, I'm just waiting a bit. I know this week I got busy looking for a new place. Um, but there's some stuff coming up. Anyhow, have a good night. Don't go blind, please. You know, Be responsible looking at the eclipse. Holy shit. Just make sure that, you know, as soon as you it hits total darkness, you know, take your sunglasses off and then just see who can stare the longest <laughs> as the sun comes back. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't fuck around. All right. Have a good night. Be safe. And thank you very much for the support. And I'll see you guys here next Sunday. We're going to be streaming a little earlier. Don't forget. Last comment of the night from Chris Rambo. Definitely respect your opinion. But I just want to say that there are so many health benefits when it comes to fasting. Not that you care, but I'm just telling you. Ha ha. Uh, yeah, like I said, if a doctor was like, hey, here's a health benefit. We noticed in your screenings this would benefit you. And also it depends on how much. If it's like, hey, here's you know 12 days of fasting where you're only drinking water. I, I don't think I give a shit anything about the health benefits. I'm not going that. But if it was something reasonable... And if a doctor was legitimately like, oh, here's this, this, and this, you know, uh, then I would probably consider something that's that's manageable, you know. But with that being said, yeah, it would have to be structured. It, it wouldn't just be like I read an article and just decide to not eat for a day, two days, three days. It would have to be something, you know. But we'll see. Uh, maybe I need to do it later to try it and see how I like it. And then I snap on everybody. You only need one eye? That's so fucked up. That's not true at all. Depth perception, bro. Trust me, you need both eyes. <laughs> Putting in one contact, I, I, it, you feel loot drunk immediately, you know? Because it's all like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. Have a good night, guys. Be safe. I'm going to go fast now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so You probably think I'm, I'm fucking with you, but I'm just teasing. Um. Uh, gonna do the opposite of fast unfortunately i'm gonna go eat something and then go to bed which i shouldn't be doing <laughs> have a good night guys